In our previous video, we discussed the growth of virtual reality in the fields of entertainment like gaming and the film industry. The future of VR is going to touch other relevant sectors of our lives as well. Like the educational system, we've already seen broad strategies for schools dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, over 700 universities and colleges now use Zoom for their online lectures. Zoom is an American communications technology company that offers video and audio conferencing, chat, distance education, etc. Many people wonder whether we need to attend specific physical space to get educated altogether. Of course, one could argue that learning is much more than just gathering information from a video conference call through an online platform, and physical presence is a critical component for group learning. But as virtual reality technology gets better, these arguments become weaker. For instance, with the development of VR graphics and haptic sensors, by simulating two of the most crucial ways in which we experience the world, which are the sense of sight and touch, we could possibly emulate any university lecture. Imagine sitting in your VR chair, all from the comfort of your home, putting your VR headset on and attending a lecture given by an AI Albert Einstein on general relativity. Not even the sky is the limit. Of course, the idea that we would no longer have to go to school, or at least go to a school building to get educated, might seem a bit concerning to most of us, especially regarding kids. They need covert friends to develop critical social skills, but this process would not take place overnight. And it doesn't have to be a binary process, meaning the use of VR technology in education could be implemented by physical location of the school. The purpose for using virtual reality and future tech in general in educational institutions is not to hinder physical contact or presence between students. The purpose, rather, is to supersede an ancient old technology we use to decompress information in order to get educated. Writing Obviously, from a geological perspective, writing is a recent invention, only about 5,200 years old. But the evolution of the human brain and how it processes information is hundreds of thousands of years older. We are primarily visual creatures. And decoding information from writing, which is to say reading, with the exception of mathematics perhaps, is a very inefficient way of learning. Let's take an example, if we take everything out of this video, but writing. It doesn't have to be this way. The combination of writing and visual learning technology could be the future of education, and virtual reality could be the bridge between the two. Of course, XR, or extended reality, offers an even brighter future for education, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this.